Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're carrying on in our series of tests where we're trying to compare the fast jets, the nine fast jets that are in DCS world with each other in different terms. We've done speeds, we've done altitudes, we've done all sorts of things and today we're doing climb rate. Now the title of this video, maximum climb rate, is a little bit deceiving. So to find the actual maximum climb rate in each of these aircraft, it's going to require a different method. The only method I know is the F-15 at the moment. And as far as I'm aware, to get the maximum climb rate overall, you're going to travel straight level at sea level until you get to max 0.96. Then you're going to pull up between 40 and 50 degrees until Angel's 20. Then you're going to level off in a 5 degree descent until you're up to max. 0.96 again and then you're going to pull up again at 45 degrees until angels 40 and repeat the process until you get to angels 60 where you pretty much top out and that is the apparently the most efficient way of getting an f-15c up to altitude and all the aircraft that we're looking at today and we've got quite a lot of them we've got the mirage 2000 f-15 su-33 mig-29 a su-27 the f-a-18c mig-21 b bis and ats-37 f-5e they are all going to have different methods of getting up to altitude as fast as possible. And I've got no way of even finding out what they are for each aircraft, let alone flying them properly and then being able to compare them to each other. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to have an identical method for each aircraft that all of these aircraft can do. And then we can compare them to one another. So what I've chosen is a method that works, is tested and works for all of these aircraft and should compare them pretty nicely. Let me get out of there. What we're going to do is we're going to say three, two, one, go. When we say go, we're going to punch the throttle completely forward. We're going to take off as quickly as I can. And as soon as we get airborne, we're going to pull back with about 20% of aft stick until we reach a pitch angle of 45 degrees upwards. We're going to measure that via GPS and that's here. Now that's not the actual climb angle. The climb angle is going to be this pitch angle here minus this angle of attack but as all aircraft are going to have roughly kind of the same about angle of attack then the pitch of 45 degrees should be fine and I can monitor it, qu monitor it quite easily here and the stopwatch is going to end once we get to angels 20 barometric as shown here well this is actually going to be GPS the reason I've chosen 45 degrees is just it suits the aircraft that we've got just about the slowest ones can they can just about manage it so it will cover everything while still challenging the faster planes and the idea of, of this test is we're kind of comparing a kind of QRA scramble so we're scrambling from the ground and it's how fast we can get on this uniform method up to 20,000 feet the standard test parameters apply so we have a Q&H of 29.92 inches mercury we have a temperature at sea level of 20 degrees Celsius centigrade metric that's not the standard I thought the standard was 20 it's actually 15 but everything we're going to do is with 20 we've got no wind all aircraft have 10% gas and we've turned gas burn off so uh, we don't have to worry about fuel. And that's it. Simple as that. So let's get on with it. As soon as I say go, we're going to slam the throttle forward, take off when, well, you would normally take off in the plane, gear up straight away, flaps up straight away if relevant, and then a uh, moderate climb. Three, two, one, go. And once we get to the end, of the test, then we'll compare all of the times, obviously. Um, as for predictions, I think the Viggen's going to do extremely well. It's optimized beautifully for uh, kind of zero to 20,000 feet. So I'm expecting it to do be a real winner here. Probably not as good as the F-15 and MiG-29, but maybe in third place we'll see I really don't know just have to see incredibly stable in this climb I wish they were all going to be this easy Sixteen thousand, nearly there. And ping. Stop the clock there. So that's that done. It was extremely comfortable, extremely easy. Let's see what we've got next. Just work our way down the list. So Mirage next. Right, we don't have flaps to worry about, so it's just gonna be gear again. So three, two, one, go. Sounds nice. Get up. And we've got a 
lovely pitch ladder on this, which is going to help us. But we'll use the official figures at the bottom still. Feels very fast. Feels really fast. We're going to get there in no time. Feels faster than the big one. So I guess this test is all about power to weight. I don't really know, but it would make sense to me. In which case, the F-15 and MiG-29 should be king. Oh, mustn't lose 20. There's 20. Wow, that was incredibly quick. Okay, that's that. That was really impressive. Uh, I remember watching Mirage 2000, um, God, uh, in RAF Mildenhall air show, and its climb rate was amazing. Its figures aren't that aren't that impressive on paper, but its climb rate really felt looked like an F-15, especially when when it was empty of fuel in show status so that was really cool anyway we'll see how that goes let's go to the next plane oh big daddy bingo fuel i guess you could argue that um uh, this test also includes the time it takes to spool the engines up but fair enough that's just part of the test three two one go it's got automatic flaps in there so i'm not going to touch them just to keep things simple god it sounds quiet compared to the others isn't it so quiet so gear to worry about only up we go gear I thought if um, it would make a difference how quickly I climb up to Angels 45, uh, 45 degrees and that will be different for all of the planes but I figure it kind of equal itself out to be honest if you're not climbing as steeply to begin with then it will gain some more speed so I'm not too worried about that okay she's climbing fast Very impressive and very easy to control. This is going to take zero time at all. Fatix accelerating. I wonder if we can get supersonic. Beautiful plane. Right. And Angel's 20. Easy, easy, easy. Very good stuff. Right. Uh, I don't know what the scores are yet because I'm going to do it in the uh, video editor. We'll see what we get next. Ah, uh, here's where it starts. Oh no, SU-23. So it's going to start getting a bit more difficult here. These things Fuel, are... Fuel, 1500. These have ma manual, old-fashioned um, trim, so it's going to be a bit more interesting. Right. I'm going to have special afterburner mode on because we can. Other than that, we've got manual flaps. We've got manual gear. Otherwise, we should be fine. Three, two, one, go. In fact, I'm going to put the flaps up now because I think they're really just going to slow us down. And it doesn't matter if I break my gear. up gear up special afterburner mode on and let's go and this special afterburner mode as in we saw in the um, tests for the speed does make a lot of difference right got trim to worry about now so let's just get this thing trimmed out okay that feels fairly neutral let's have a look at that feels slow feels slow and heavy Which is exactly what we're expecting, because it doesn't have a particularly power, good power to weight ratio, it's just too heavy. Ooh, lovely HUD symbology for this. What a delight. Saying that, she's climbing pretty good, so maybe in my imagination. Absolute ease that was. Complete ease. Right, that's SU-33 down with special afterburner mode. Felt really good, but we shall see. Next we have ba -ba -ba, MiG-21, MiG-29, the crazy man's plane. Fuel, 1500. So, that's... Uh, Fuel, 800. Stop revving up, you weird plane. Fuel, 500. Okay, uh, manual flaps. Bingo, manual fuel. Gear. Three, two, one, go. Slow spool. Flaps up. Really quiet in this plane again for some reason. Gear up. Trim's a bit of a mare already, but let's just roll with it. Right, let's see some real power to weight, shall we? Sort my trim out. She's being a bit of a handful. Stop it. Stop it now. Okay, that feels a bit better. Oh, 
and she fasts. Oi! I know she's going to be a bit of a handful. Let's get back up there. A little bit of roll, but I don't suppose that's really going to change anything. Wow, already! 20,000 feet! Okay. Feels like a winner, but we shall see. Big 29 dump. Next, let's go for... She 27. Fuel, 1500. Should be slow as balls. It's nice and heavy and whatnot, so we'll see. Flaps up. Ooh, power. Boom. Should be a bit easier to control than the MiG. Gear up. Here we go. Yeah, much nicer. Taking a sweet time. Dropping a bit like the MiG, that's okay. Some planes are going to drop. Boom, there it is. Some planes are going to drop below the 45 degrees. Some planes just can't hold 45 degrees. These fast ones that we've tried obviously can very easily. F5 and MiG-21 almost certainly won't be able to hold a sustained climb of that from low speed. So, But it uh, doesn't matter. They'll, they'll, as soon as their nose drop down, they'll pick up speed again and they'll get up to 45 again. So it's fine. Right, next is F18. I'm expecting good things from the F18. Hey, F-18, I expect high things from you. We're going to put the flaps up now. Three, two, one, go. So we've just got the gear to worry about. Gear up. Let's do it. No, Betty. Not today. Oops, over pitch. Easy now. Wow, she's struggling with the trim. Probably won't be able to do an external view from this because the trim's messed up. Silly me. Maybe we can sneak one in there. Nyaum. 13, 14, feels about average to be honest. Teen, 19, 20! Woo! Okay, that's the Hornet. Next. MiG 21, I'm not expecting much to be honest. Obviously, she's powerful for a kind of uh, old. Okay, MiG-21, I'm not really expecting much uh, compared to everything we've done so far. She just hasn't got the uh, the numbers to cope, but we'll try. Special afterburner mode on. Flaps. Can I take off without flaps? Don't know. I guess we're going to find out the hard way. And all I've got to worry about is gear. Three, two, one. Kaboomy. Fingers crossed. Punch. Rotate a little bit later than normal, which is now. Gear up. Up we go. Okay, she's going to be an awkward one to handle. She always is. No, no, she's settled quite nicely. Maybe not. Ah, stop going so high. Come on. Be good. Ah, oh, the gear are out. <laughs> we. Very good. 
Right, let's try that again, shall we? I thought it would be so hard to get the bloody gear up. Right, let's try it again. Oh, I forgot to uncage the goddamn gear. Special afterburner mode on. Right, we should go this time. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Three, two, one, go. Let's do it. Big old spool time on the engine. Hopefully it won't affect it too much. Gear up. Gear to neutral. Let's go. Hey. Feeling pretty settled. Pretty happy so far. She almost certainly will start struggling soon. 10,000 feet. Starting to struggle now. Running out of power. Having to pull back hard on the stick. She's slowing down, stalling. And I'm rotating somewhere. So I'm just going to have to allow her to nose down a bit to pick up speed. And she'll head up again when she's ready. Up we go again. Oh, that was a struggle, man. Right. Well, we never expected it to be particularly good, so let's try the last one. Almost certainly going to be the weakest. It's the F5. Which at least it won't be quite as violent. Flaps are automatic. Gear manual. Uh, otherwise, we're all set up. Three, two, one, go. Crazy spool time in these engines. So it's, it's so frustrating how some planes are so quiet and some are so loud in uh, DCS. I wish I'd just get that uniformly sorted, just normalise it. Anyway, up. Go gear up and up we go. Ooh, slow down, Winston. Okay, she is accelerating, so that's a good sign. Just trying to sort the trim out at the moment. Trim, 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 trim. Okay, seems pretty happy there. Gonna struggle as well, I imagine, just hasn't got the poor. So, like we said before, obviously, these are not the absolute maximum climb rates of these aircraft. An F5 could get much faster, much quicker if we went along the ground and pulled up at Mach 1 or whatever. But um, I'm trying to confirm absolute grunt in a climb, that's what we're trying to do here. And I want to level off now. So that's fine. Let her pick up some speed again. Speedy up again. Pitch up again. Whoops, a little too high there, a bit naughty. Come on, you can make it. 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. And... Whoa, we're going to stall out altogether. <laughs> Just haven't quite got the power in this and the MiG to do this, have we?
You can do it, baby. Go on, Bennett, that was a struggle. Right, that's that done. So that's that done. Now, I'm not completely convinced about that. The F5 and the Big 21 were just too slow to really play that properly. So I think what we'll do is an additional test. So we'll call the first test the slow speed, slow speed climb rate. And now we'll do another one where we do a fast speed climb rate. And what we do is we will take off. We'll fly up to, say, 600 knots true. And then we'll pull up, and as soon as we breach a thousand feet, we'll measure it again from a thousand feet up to twenty thousand feet. But this time, it's going to negate the kind of slow speed, and it's going to negate the all the messing around with the takeoff and accelerating in the runway and the pulling up like that. Then we'll have two tests to compare: a list of slow speed ones with takeoff, and a list of high speed ones. So let's uh, start again with the biggin. Right. So you'll see what I mean. I'll explain it as I go through. So we're going to stay kind of 100 to 200 feet off the deck, get up to 600 knots. As soon as we 600, hit 600 knots, we're going to climb. In fact, let's make it, yeah, no, 600 would be good. And climb now. And again, we'll do it at 45 degrees. And we'll do the timing from 1,000 to um, 20,000 feet. We'll be much faster this time, obviously. Feels like she's supersonic. Ooh. Hey, that's that one done already. In fact, look, she increased speed. That's pretty impressive. Okay, Mirage next. Off we go. I'm expecting good things from the Mirage. He's very slippery. Boom, supersonic, for sure. Or maybe not. <laughs> F15. This thing is gonna Bingo be fuel. This thing's gonna be brutal. 150 feet. 150 feet, increasing speed. Go! Put about 20% back stick in just to keep everything roughly uniform. And oh, this is going to be so fast. So it's not a test of speed, really, because they're all starting at 600 knots. So it's not dependent on the start speed. Boom! Another supersonic one. Whoops, drifting a little bit. And wow, that is done already. Next one. Fuel, 1500. Indeed, my love. So that is flaps off, full power. Regards to the speed, we'll be measuring the true speed GPS down at the bottom left there, as you can see. Whoops, too high. I'm just going to get the trim sorted now. Feels about good. And 600 knots. Up we go. Is she supersonic? I think so. Pew. Lasers. Whoops, too hot. And we're done. Ooh, isn't this easy? Oh dear, what have we done there? Uh oh, the animal. Let's give it a go, Fuel, shall we? Fuel, 1500. Perhaps. Oh. Fuel, 800. Yes. Uh, struggling with the trim, struggling with the trim. It's accelerating too fast. And already we hit 600 and go! God, that climbed quick. Uh, down! Full front stick! You will be controlled! I don't dare do an external view on this, I've got so little control of the bloody thing.
Bing. 20,000. Okay, select slot. Let's see, 27. Fuel, 1,500. Flaps up. And go. She's a slow climber. But that's okay. Nice and stable. Supersonic. Or not. Slower so far. Mmm. Telling. And she's decelerating as well. And dropping. Oh, and we've passed 20,000 anyway. Very good. Next. Uh, 18. Right. I guess the trim's going to mess up in this. So, let's try and take all of the trim off. Flaps off. That's as slow as I can get the trim. Hang on, let's see what happens. Ah. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get up, get up! Get up, get up! Love a bit of PIO in the morning. No, I can't do it. I can't get down low enough. All right, all right! Shut up and let me have control of the bloody aeroplane. Thank you. Up we go. Supersonic. No. Ooh. Interesting. Thousand Kaboomy next. I'm not sure if this would go up to 600 knots. Uh, the engine cutting off. I think it can. Right. Anyway, concentrate. Flaps off. Gate off. Burner mode on. Full power. Close enough, and let's go. Slow climber. She's feeling pretty good. Can you be supersonic? Go on, do it. Boo. Get your bloody nose up. Oh, over 20,000. Hey, that field not too bad. And finally, F5. Now, the interesting thing about this um, fast version is that it's not really much about power to weight ratio anymore because we've already got the kinetic energy in the bird. So, is it about lightness? Is it a gravity thing? Or is it aerodynamic? Is it aerodynamic and lightness at this point with a tiny bit of power to weight? It's going to be different. And the interesting thing is, are the results going to be different to the, you know, the pure brutish power up from low speed. Really don't know. It's interesting. Hmm, let's get some engineering talk in the comments of this. Right, uh, concentrate, supercab, wrap flaps, automatic flaps. Yeah, fine, we're off. Much nicer to control. Hmm, love this aeroplane. Flies like a beauty. Can we get up to 600 knots is the question. Easy, no problem, my baby, and go. Average climb. Feels good. In control. Beautiful. Come on, supersonic. Let's show those big planes. Not quite. Feels fast. And Kaboomy! Right! There we go! So next, let's get the results collated and shown. Okay, so we have the results through here now. On the left, we've got the results from the climb rate from zero knots from ground. 
and on the right from 600 knots. Now I would have thought it would make sense that at least the aircraft orders should be the same but instead they're completely different. I don't really see any reason for this. For instance, from zero knots Mirage 2000 is in third place and from far high speed the Mirage 2000 is right down at the bottom. I have no idea why, I just can't explain this. If anyone can explain this then um, let me know what you think but uh, I've been back and I've checked the timings and stuff like that and it's definitely correct so something weird going on there. F-18 move, moves one slot. Vigan has moved up what two three spaces from the low speed to the high speed climb. The SU-33 is completely changed around with the SU-27 which is weird. It was much slower on the slow one and a little bit faster on the fast climb. Overall the MiG-29 won the day. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it would be the F-15. On paper with the fuel loads as we've got them written down the power to weight ratio goes to the F-15C. So assuming aerodynamics are roughly the same then, then the F-15 I would have thought. So this shows that it's I guess more about weight than it is about uh, power or power to weight ratio. Because the MiG-29 airframe is lighter than the F-15C but has a worse power to weight ratio. Hmm, all in all, I'm not really sure what to make of that lot. Have a little think and see what you guys think. You're smarter than me anyway. See if you can start thinking of some reasons why aircraft came in this at the same orders. Now, the test wasn't perfectly accurate, obviously. There was some error here and there. But all around, I'm pretty sure I could repeat that ten times in a row and I'll get exactly the same, almost exactly the same figures and at least exactly the same order. So I think the orders are solid and there is a reason why they are in that particular order. So if we could come up with some theories on that, it'd be interesting to do a follow-up video to explain why the aircraft came in certain orders based on the parameters that we've got. Right, but nothing really clever to say about it now, so um, I hope that was interesting. See you later.